Hey everyone, I'm Marcus, and today we are glad to introduce the exclusive MSI Overboost technology. Some laptop manufacturers might feel that they are chasing the desktop PC performance, but with MSI Gaming Laptop, they stand equal. Benefited from the unparalleled thermal design, the Raider GE and Vector GP series break the current CPU GPU power architecture and redefine what full power is by unlocking the CPU and GPU power limitation to give extra performance. Before we discuss this new technology, let's go through this concept of this charming feature to know how it works. So, what is NVIDIA Dynamic Boost? NVIDIA Dynamic Boost is a new technology that helps to juggle the power supply for both CPU and GPU. Historically, the CPU and GPU worked independently, benefiting from their own power supply. However, this design has been accused of being inefficient for performance power, as there are many instances, particularly in gaming, where the GPU requires a lot of power when the processor is sitting idly with access to an untapped power budget. NVIDIA Dynamic Boost 2.0 uses multiple AI networks to allow power shifting from the CPU to the GPU and vice versa. This could help users to have higher performance in specific conditions. When we talk about performance, Raider GE sits right on top in the gaming industry. It has the most powerful Intel Core i9 and NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti with GDDR6 16GB. But being a pioneer in performance laptops, MSI doesn't just stop there. Thanks to the outstanding thermal design and the effort of R&D teams, the Raider GE76 with MSI Overboost technology can deliver up to 175 watts plus 45 watts. That's an unprecedented 220 watts in total. For the GPU, our configuration gets the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti laptop chip running at up to 175 watts with Dynamic Boost 2.0 and supported applications. The best part is that we don't just squeeze power from the CPU, it is a solid extra power. It exceeds other laptop brands by 25 watts. That's 13% more, pushing through limitations and giving you even higher performance. Let's verify the maximum power design of the system as we mentioned just now. It's simple, we just need to use the Prime95 and Firmark to do the stress test on the CPU and GPU to push the loading up to 100%. As you can see on one screen, the power of the CPU is around 45 watts and the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Thai laptop graphics is running at up to 175 watts with Dynamic Boost 2.0 in supported applications, and it's much higher than other laptops in the market. Let's get back to the performance comparison on the different power design. On one side, we have the Raider GE76 with the Intel 12th generation core i9 processor and RTX 3080 Thai laptop graphics with 16 gigabytes of VRAM, powered by MSI Overboost technology. And on the other side, we have another Raider GE76, but without MSI Overboost technology. We will benchmark under the Extreme Performance Mode in the MSI Center and turn on the Cooler Boost to make sure that we can get the best performance. The Raider GE76 with MSI Overboost technology outperforms in benchmark software and AAA titles. The CPU and GPU capabilities can be squeezed to the most extreme level under full loads without ever sacrificing frequency or stability. So, that's the secret to having high performance on the Raider GE series and Vector GP series. I hope the sharing today is useful and thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. As a tit. Sorry. As well as the. Sorry. DDR6. And sorry. Okay,